Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord God delivers them from them all. This is a deep and tender, altogether winsome plea. Would you know the nature, excellence, and application of this meekness and quietness? Come then with the author to him who said, Learn of me, for I am meek and lowly. And all the world will see and know that we have been with Jesus. The author here pleads with us to avail ourselves of the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit and to apply this precious and comely grace in all our contacts and everyday living. No message could be more practical or fitting for this age when the world, more than ever, is too much with us. We sometimes don't realize that we're in the world, but we're not of the world. And we are to be separated, consecrated, and set apart for God's holy use. We are sacred ground, so we need to be very, very careful of what we allow into our thoughts and minds and attitudes. This entire book is about dying well so that you can live well. It is a phenomenal concept in that believers are not afraid of death. They have the resurrected Christ. They have heaven to look forward to. But the point of the matter is, we are here right now. And so our entire reason for still being on the planet after salvation is to win the Lord more souls. When we look at the world and there are 5 billion unsaved souls on the planet, we do not have a right to say, God, why don't you do something? That makes no sense. It's like hold the Bible up like a mirror and look at the, look at the reflection. God has you on the planet to spread the gospel message of Jesus Christ and to go about doing good. The time to do that is right now. There are people who are lost, who are going in the opposite direction of heaven because they do not have a preacher to tell them. Every born-again believer is a leader in the fallen world. So our job at this point in time is to separate from fear, step up in faith, and say so. Communicate. The Holy Spirit will give you a voice and an avenue. Reach out. Reach the lost. That is what we are here for. In Jesus' name.